What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. For those of you stopping by the been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So today I figured we would discuss spice types. Now, when I say spice types, I don't just mean fresh spicy and warm spicy. No, we're going to talk more on the elements that mix with a spicy fragrance and my personal favorite five types and five great examples from that. So stay tuned. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. So jumping off into the first one is just going to be a straight up very spicy fragrance. And when I think a fragrance that is just flat out spicy, that's what it is through and through. Of course, I think of Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Probably the best just straight up spicy ass fragrance because that's pretty much what it is. You get a little bit of tobacco in the back, but you get a whole lot of peppery Jalap not jalapeno, but pimento spice and just different peppers. It's just spicy. That's what it is. Compliment factory. This stuff churns them out. Been around many years now. Yeah, it's been reformulated, but it still performs pretty well on my skin. Seven, eight hour fragrance. Projects pretty heavy in the first two hours. Absolutely still worth getting a newer batch, newer bottle, fresh from the discounters. Don't pay retail. But definitely get a bottle from the discounters, shop around, find the right price. But like I said, this encompasses the fresh spicy aspect, the warm spicy aspect. It's just spicy. So the basic category of spice is covered. And this is probably the best example of that. And that is Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf. Now with this next one, you're going to start to see where I'm going with when I with this when I say different spice types. So this is more on the herbal spicy side of things where a lot of your spices are coming from basil and rosemary and a lot of green elements, very green elements. And a brilliant example of this is actually from Dior. Not that talked about. It's from the Eau Sauvage line. It's Eau Sauvage Extreme, the Eau de Toilette Intense as it is known as. Now, not a cheap fragrance by any means. Even getting a tester is gonna run you over $100. But, not the strongest performer. It does perform a little bit better than the Eau de Toilette. It does not perform near as well as the Parfum. But, the difference with this one is all the citrus elements of the Eau de Toilette are there, but it's kind of flip-flopped, whereas the herbaceous notes were kind of lightened in that. Now it's the other way around. The citruses are lightened and the herbal notes are really heightened to really add some depth and some green brilliance to this. It makes it very, very, very herbaceous, a little bit more matured. God, that smells so good. It's been a while since I've smelled it. When I thought of this video type, this immediately popped in my head for an herbal spicy fragrance. Man, that smells so good. This is not necessarily going to be for everyone. That's why you don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I don't know how easy it would be to try to sample this. Um, I think for the most part, you kind of have to blind buy it. I blind bought it. Um, but the bottle is gorgeous. But I mean, you're not buying it for the bottle. You're buying it for the juice. And if you like Eau Sauvage, if you like Eau Sauvage Parfum, that's the two ends of the spectrum, you're bound to like this. This is still that same DNA. Just like I said, with the herbaceous notes, really, really heightened on this one. It's very herbal, fantastic for spring and fall, especially in the evenings. This has some more elegance to it versus the Eau de Toilette. And like I said, the herbaceous spice. It's a fresh spice. There's some warm spice, but it's that's the main thing is it's very herbal. You're getting your spice from green notes. And it's a decent performer, not a beast mode fragrance, but not weak by any means either. And once again, that's from Dior, Eau Sauvage. Extreme, the Eau de Toilette Intense. Next, I'm kind of thinking we'll go with a boozy spicy fragrance. So something that's going to encompass a whiskey or rum note of some sort, something in that realm, at you know, brandy, different things like that, cognac, with some heavier spices. And one of, in my opinion, the better buys 
for money, like the value here in this purchase is really there. It's the most wearable version of this fragrance, in my opinion. It's from Bentley. It's the original for men. So hear me out. I know everybody likes to talk about the intense, but I prefer the original because the woods, the leather, and the smoky incense part of it is dialed back, and the rum and the spices are heightened in this. Doesn't perform as well, but still no slouch. Still a strong performer. Difference being, this is much more wearable in many more situations, and it's just a boozy, spicy fragrance. That's the main accords that you're going to get from this one. Um, the rum really stands out, and that spicy undertone is just kind of right there, popping you. It's like a spiced rum in essence, in a bottle to spray on yourself. It's kind of how you can look at it without the big alcohol blast, really. But beautiful, beautiful fragrance that can be had in the mid to low 20s all over online from discounters. And there's a lot of options that you could go here with a boozy, spicy type of fragrance. But like I said, the value for money with the quality and the performance and just the overall smell of the fragrance, I really felt like Bentley from in the original was the ideal example for that category. So I figured I would showcase this one because it's not all the time that I get to talk about it. And it's not all the time that I get to wear it either. It's a little situational for me, but it's much more wearable than the intense in my opinion. And one that more people should show some love to in my opinion. So once again, that's Bentley for Men, the original. So we covered spicy, we covered an herbal spice, we covered a boozy spice. Now, we're going to get into the more seductive date night style spicy fragrances where we're going to start dialing the sweetness up a little bit and changing the game and adding some other elements. So some may disagree with me on this because there's a sweet spice in the original. This is a flanker to a flanker. The original's a flanker, but this is a flanker to that. And in my opinion, a more polished version takes the cardamom away, puts some black pepper with some fruits to give you your sweet spice, but it's a different sweet spice. Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de l'Homme, Le Parfum. I did get this from Kingdom Fragrances. Link is down below if you want to check it out. This is $20 cheaper from Kingdom Fragrances than it is from FragranceNet with the coupon code. Just saying. So this kind of encompasses a few different types of spice. As far as spice categories, it's not full of spicy notes. It's mainly just the pepper. But in essence, it's very fresh spicy up top that warms itself up and adds some sweetness. So fresh spicy, warm spicy, and a sweet spicy. This encompasses a couple different types. This is kind of a kind of a do-it-all spice, in essence. Follow my train of thought here. But it adds a sexiness. This is definitely a great matured version of La Nuit de Lome. Date night, for sure. Still a great date night fragrance where not overly sweet, not super powdery. It kind of polishes and rounds off the edges and raises the maturity level from La Nuit de Lome to La Nuit de Lome Le Parfum. In my opinion, the better version, especially as you're getting up there in age, you'll probably like this one more than the original, as do I. And like I said, it encompasses so many different types of spice accord-wise, not from the notes. Once again, La Nuit de Lome, Le Parfum. And then last, this is really your sweet spice. This is the one that I picked for sweet spice that's a brilliant example. Um, there is some warm spice to it, but the sweet characteristics of this is what this is kind of known for. And it's definitely got a lot of spice to it, namely the cinnamon. Um, fantastic. Another date night fragrance. Great, great performer. It's from Mazzaro. Wanted by night. Big 150 milliliter bottle. Probably never go through this whole thing. Such a good scent though. Oh man. You smell the original for sure. Sweetness is dialed up. Spice is dialed up. Definitely has a bit of a bubblegum opening. You're going to think the realm of Invictus, but a spicy Invictus. But the cinnamon really takes over after a few minutes. I smell it floating in there. It's fantastic. And it's a performer. This is... Yeah, for sure. This is the best performer on this list. It's the loudest fragrance and the longest lasting for sure. And these aren't real expensive nowadays. To get a 100 milliliter or even a 50 milliliter, you're definitely not breaking the bank. Even a 150 like this is in the 50 some odd dollar range. Not overly priced for sure. Very affordable, very easy to get. They're all over. I believe you can get it from Kingdom Fragrances as well. 
Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, eBay, all the different places online. Definitely my choice for a sweet, spicy fragrance. And like I said, this was a brilliant example of that. Great for dates. In the cooler weather, if you want to wear it during the day, sure. Don't let the name think you make you think it's strictly for the night. Yeah, it's better suited for that. It's a cozy type of fragrance. Like I said, very attractive to the opposite sex. Great for evenings. But cooler weather, if you like the smell, wear it to work. No big deal. Others around you are going to enjoy it. Maybe go easy on the sprays because it is loud, and you, depending on your work setting. But if you're looking for a really good, boozy, not boozy, sorry, sweet, spicy fragrance, Wanted by Night from Azaro. Like I said, brilliant example. Could have put a lot of different things here, but I figured this would be the best one to talk about for this specific video. Well, that's all I wanted to discuss, guys. That was my five. I know that was kind of a off the wall type of topic in essence um, i hope i didn't get too sidetracked and you followed me early on with my train of thought you know i love spicy fragrances aside from uh heavy iris based fragrances spices is still close to my heart that's still my number one favorite type of fragrances so i figured i'd cover some of the different types of spices that i really enjoy and that's really where we hit the head of course i like a good fresh spicy you know versace mano fresh that has a good fresh spice to it and you know some of the the lighter compounds but i really like something with some body and some balls to it when it comes to spicy fragrances and all five of these were brilliant examples of that so until next time guys do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe do appreciate all the feedback i love hearing from you guys how many of you agree with me great examples for these different categories how many of these do you have or have you tried what do you think about them let me know down in the comments until next time i will say Get your hands on any of these five and you give them a spray now, real good chance you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Repeat, this is not a drill.